In this video, we'll give an overview of the Defender for Storage features and the new pricing model that was recently announced for Defender for Storage. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about Azure. So let's take a look at the Defender for Storage service specifically that's in Defender for Cloud. There's a handful of features within Defender for Cloud. Uh, Defender for Storage is one of those features. Uh, and if we jump over to the, the documentation, we can see there's a couple of actually uh, good diagrams in the documentation for storage because if we have a, uh, a storage account that we've you know put in our environment, um, Defender for Storage will go out and look at you know all of the activity streams for blob and file storage um, on this storage account. So if there's you know some type of attack um, where kind of odd access or um, you know any of the, the the types of things that an attacker would do against either blob storage or, or file storage. Uh, Defender for Cloud looks at the activity streams for the storage accounts, continuously runs analytics behind the scenes for you um, as part of that uh, monitoring of the storage account, and then gives you alerts if it detects anything that's uh, that's kind of odd or, or off. And so the, the documentation gives a good kind of overview of what kind of threats that might look like. So unusual access or unusual behavior by an account that does have permissions. Um, if it sees that a file hash is like known malware, you know, maybe it's trying to upload malware to a storage account um, or um, kind of unusual files, maybe executable files or software that, uh, that, that could be malicious, um, phishing campaigns, trying to, to gather access on a, on a storage account. Um, if it's coming from a known Tor or, or Onion network, you know, these are all uh, malicious things that it can detect and then create security alerts for you on. Um, one of the interesting things about storage is they've recently changed the, the pricing model. So previously, uh, if we go over to the portal and drill into the environment settings to take a look at storage specifically, we'll drill down into our subscription. So there's um, two pricing models that are available now for um, Defender for Storage. And so the previous or kind of legacy pricing model is uh, that it was two cents US for uh, every 10,000 transactions. That was the, the previous pricing model. Um, so as long as like the storage account wasn't insanely busy, uh, that pricing model worked out. If, it, if you had a really large storage account, um, you've got millions of transactions on that storage account a month, uh, that could be turned into a, a pretty costly scenario because any a transaction is defined as any read operation any write operation you know like any uh, object you know if you're interacting with an object then that's a transaction and so the uh the breaking point for this is about four and a half million transactions so it's a, a pretty high number um but it's not unachievable especially if you have a large storage account and so you'll see here it says new pricing plan available um the the legacy one is that two cents per 10,000 transactions. Uh, the new plan type that's available is $10 per account per month. And so that kind of changes it to uh, how servers are priced where it's just per server um, per month. And so uh, again, as long as the, for this to kind of make sense for you, the, um, the number of transactions has to be about four and a half million. Um, it does, you know, there are some caveats here. It does say overage charges. Um, so if you exceed 73 million, um, then you're still going to have uh, a transaction charge. So as long as you're in kind of this, um, you know, four or five million plus transaction range, the, the new pricing model can save you uh, uh, quite a bit of money, especially if you're in you know, tens of millions of, of transactions on a storage account a month. Now you can go back and forth. Um, you see the warning here in the portal, though, if you do swap to the new plan, um, at least as of right now, you cannot use the portal to swap back. You would have to do that through a REST API call uh, to make sure that, or to, would be the only way to change back to the legacy plan. Um, now, again, this is for, just like for servers, this is for all storage accounts um, within the Azure subscription. So again, kind of having a good uh, governance strategy to, to make sure that you're not enabling this, especially if you do it you know, on the, the storage account model. Um, that if you've got, 
you know, dozens of storage accounts within your subscription, it is going to swap the plan and the pricing now for all storage accounts within that subscription. So having a, a good governance model, uh, a good um, landing zone model, uh, making sure that these storage accounts aren't necessarily, you know, if they're just dev or internal use only um, or private access only, you know, you may or may not need this. And so making sure they're in the, the right subscription can be key as well. But so that's um, Defender for Storage and the new pricing model that's available there uh, and the, the capabilities of make, looking at the activity stream, unauthorized access, unusual access, and having Defender for Storage create those alerts for you. If you learned something new today, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel to learn more. I stream every Friday afternoon on Twitch if you'd like to come by and ask questions. Uh, thanks for watching.